children. What if you achieve a lot but hardly anybody remembers you? Ezra is the faithful record keeper telling the story of God's faithfulness and doesn't seem concerned about how he slips into history's cracks unnoticed. What does it mean to be of service to God? Uncle Koshi is here to show us. Good morning, children. You know Sachin Tendulkar, right? Um, but how many Ezra's do you know? Come now, I'm waiting. Can't think of too many, right? And yet, Ezra, whose name means help, should be a common name simply because of the list of his achievements. He's said to be the writer of four books in the Bible and the longest psalm. Tradition says that he was the leader of the council of 120 men who formed the Old Testament canon. And yet, Ezra remains a relatively unknown figure who is satisfied simply by being of help to God and God's people. The book of Ezra is about the faithfulness of God in keeping his promise that the Jews would return to Israel from exile. He was the leader of the second emigration, priest teaching the word and administrator making sure everything happened the way planned. The book covers events during the first emigration under Cyrus the Persian when work on the temple began but was soon halted due to local interference. It then continues through the time of Darius, who commanded the work to restart and finish. 58 years later, Ezra leads the second group of exiles back. He has decrees of authority from Artaxerxes, but when he gets to the land, he learns something terrible. The first group of emigres had intermarried with locals and lost their Jewish distinctions. How could these sullied people build God's temple? Ezra was pained by this since he studied the word of God and believed it. So he called the nation to repentance and helped the Jews restart their lives as a consecrated people when they returned. The nation turned to God and a time of revival began. The Bible describes the Son of God as lowly, meek, astride a donkey. And yet he's King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior of the world. Ezra did not know it. But his life of quiet service was to this quiet man of sorrows. Like Ezra, are you of help to the people of God? Will you commit your life to helping and serving the living God in whichever way he chooses? Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you give us men like Ezra in the history of the Bible who went about their work quietly, serving faithfully, and giving all the glory to you. And Lord, we know that without even realizing it, Ezra was reflecting some of the perfection that would only be seen in you. The quiet, loving, meek Savior who would go to the cross for us. We love you. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Uncle Koshi. Ezra went about his work quietly and faithfully, and he brought glory to the Lord. He didn't worry about whether anyone remembered him at all. Are you willing to live a life of quiet service for the Lord? Such is the normal Christian life.